anything like that. Those things are life. But I wonder how many people here this morning can say, Brother Stewart, this past year has really been trying. How many people can say that I just feel so weighted down? Paul said in, in, the, in the Word of God, let us lay aside every weight and sin. I believe, I can honestly say that most of you in here, if not all, you say, Brother Stewart, the weight is really not sin. But it's a burden. Maybe what's happened in my family or what's happened in my job. It could be some things that I, I created on my own. How many has ever done that? Yes. But it's weights. And this morning you're here carrying weights. I know this is cliche. But we're just a few hours away from entering into a new year. Just a little over 12, I believe. I, 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 Scott, Mike, both Michaels, Brother Bruce, and James, if you would help, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's fine. If y'all would come right over here. And just get behind me. And y'all be trying to example here, but I want you to be gentle for what I'm afraid. But I want a couple of you to put your hands on my shoulder. And I want you to press down. If you can't get to me, press down on them. This, this is what you're feeling like right now. And what we're trying to do right now, I'm telling you in the Holy Ghost, we're, we're, trying, to, we're, we're, we're trying to go into this, this new year. But we're uttering the words, it's going to be a different year. It's going to be a change. But yet you're still trying to walk. You're still trying to push your way through with all the weight of last year. Nothing's going to change until you change. You've got to make up your mind this morning before you leave this, this place this morning that every day, come on, push way down. Push me down. Every day that has weighed me down. Oh, no, I'm not going to carry it into this new year. I've made a decree that this new year is going to be a year of labor. This new year is going to be a year of victory. This new year, I may have some weights, but this new year, I'm not going to carry those weights from last year. But I'm going to start to shred them, and I'm going to begin to proclaim this power in the name of Jesus. I wonder if I got about 20 people in here today. This is I'm not just gonna walk into 2024. I'm not just gonna limp into 2024, but I'm gonna dance my way into 2024. I'm gonna leave the weights behind me. I'm telling you, church, if we bring the weights from this past year, and most of them have been legitimate, we're going to face next year the same way we struggled out of this year. We've got to shred those weights this morning. There's going to be change. You got to change. 
If there's going to be change in your spiritual life, you need to get in the Word of God more. If there's going to be change in your spiritual life, you need to get down on your knees more. If there's going to be change in your spiritual walk with God, you're going to have to get on your knees and begin to fast with a whole heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And so often, we won't change. But we won't change. We want to change, but we don't want to change. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. We want everything to be hunky-dory, excuse my phrase. But yet, we want to live the same way we lived in 2023. Come on. How many really honestly Want to change this yes, year? Yes, 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 yes. That sounds exciting. Oh, gosh. Oh. But when you ask for change, mm, do you realize the sacrifices that is going to have to be made? Do you realize the personal things in your life, Sister Mary? They may not be sin, but their ways. It's going to have to change. Do we really know what we're saying when we say, I won't change? Are we willing to commit to, to the statement that we make that I won't change? I, 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 can lay, I can lay out a laundry list of things I want to change as, as a church, but there's no need laying them out until we change as the church. And that starts with me. I'm not leaving myself out. I'll be the first to tell you there's a lot of I won't change, but I've got to change. Church, do you realize that we just navigated to probably the toughest first complete year without our bishop? That took a lot. It took a lot out of each and every one of us. Some more than others because I know there were blood. The church, I don't want to navigate through 2024. I'm not saying we're going to coast, but I don't want to navigate through this or that. But I want to have a mindset that when I face trouble, God's on my side. I want to have a mindset that when I face difficulties, all of heaven has my back. I want to have a mindset that I don't have to carry these weights around. I want to have a mindset that, that you help people, you trying to bring the storm, but I want to have a mindset to, to look the devil eye to eye, nose to nose, and say, no, 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 devil, you don't understand. I've got all of heaven behind me. I've got the greatest power of all Now, I'm not one to give the credit 
to the devil if he don't deserve it. But he has challenged us through many different things. But I say we as a church turn the tables. I challenge you, devil, to stop what God has already started. He can't stop it, church. He's trying to make
You ready to shred those weights? You ready to say, I'm leaving this behind? I'm not going to carry it with me anymore. When I leave out of this building, I'm going to shred it. I'm going to be light. I'm going to be on fire for God. I'm going to be a Let's lay these weights down. Let's lay 